Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. So let's start. First thing, let's set up our composition. I'm going to name it kinetic type 20 and I will make it 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration and press OK. Nice. So as always, let's start with the type tool and let's write something. I'm going to write ISTAT and let's make the font size relatively small and center align the text. Then let's align the text in the composition and push it up to the top. Great. Now let's create a null and name it controllers. And you ask, why is this null for? Well, we will add 5 slider controllers to this null. I know it's many of them, but each slider will control parts of our animation. With our null selected, let's go to effects and then go to expression control and choose slider control. Nice. Now, in the effects tab of the null object, let's select our slider and press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate it. And let's make 4 new copies to make a total of 5. Cool. With that done, let's start naming our sliders. First one will be the start value slider. This slider will control the start value of our text tracking. Let's name the second slider end value. This slider will control the end value of the tracking amount in our text. Third slider, let's name it duration. As we won't have any keyframes in this animation, this slider will be where we'll control the speed of our text and the length of our animation. Fourth slider, let's name it delay. This slider will control the delay between all the layers so they don't animate at the same time. And this will also create a lovely wave motion effect in our visual. Let's name the fifth and last slider distance. Just because we will have so many copies and it's good to be able to control the distance in between them easily. And that's it. Let's lock the effects tab so we can link the sliders into the expressions later and let's jump into our text layer. The first thing we need to do is to add a text animator. So let's go to animate and select tracking. The property that we will add the expression will be the tracking amount. In my previous tutorials, I used to write the expression and explain each line of code. However, it made the tutorial a bit too long, I think. And because sometimes the expressions had many lines and only some people really were interested in going so deep, and that's fair enough, you don't need to. So this time, I will copy and paste the expression here, and for the people that like to go deeper, I will leave a version here on screen with the comments explaining what each line is doing. So this way, everyone is happy. And the expression will also be available in the video description, so you can just copy and paste it. Cool, cool. So now we have the expression applied, the only thing we need to do is to connect the variables with their respective sliders. So using the pequip tool, let's do that. Now we will add another expression, but this time in the position property. So same thing, I'm just going to copy and paste the expression here, and here is a 3 second frame with the code with comments for curious minds. Just pause the video and read it as you want. And after that, let's link the spacing variable to its respective slider control on the null. And cool, let's give it a little preview and test our sliders. Well, looks like everything is working, so it's time to make a few copies. With our text selected, press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. And as you can see, the magic of the distance slider is already doing its effect. So let's do this a few more times until we have enough to fill up our composition. Then use the distance slider to adjust the distance between the copies and let's give it another preview. And that's it. Use the sliders to adjust the values of duration, distance and delays to your taste. And yeah, this is ready to render and upload to all your social media accounts and get those likes. And don't forget to tag me as well. And this is it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. And join me on my Buy Me A Coffee page to support this channel and get access to this working file and many others as well scripts and design assets. I will leave the link in the description. And yeah, that's it. Have a good day, a good life, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.